If we're if we're trying to be like, you know, just just good at everything, Mjolnir cannons will get the job done. Um, and you can't really do much else. Like the flux is insane from these. I will I will actually alternate them. That makes the flux so much more manageable. And then um I don't know what missiles I want to do. These are cheap. I can do two of those. What? Look here. Two of those, and then one of these, maybe? The Sabos for anti shield? That's okay with me. And then these two mediums, we're definitely going to do flat cannons. Do I have enough? Three in storage. That's it? Okay, I'll do the small flax then. It is what it is. I don't want to do the small flax, but we don't have enough to, to match it, so. In Vulcans, we have 18. Oh, we have 271 in storage, though. Okay. I was like, how do we only have 18? That doesn't seem right. Okay, this is a lot of PD. I can probably give up these, too. Uh, yeah, this is a lot of PD. So, currently, we're just, we're literally two Mjolnirs, and that's it. Two Mjolnirs, some Salamanders, say bow to help with shields a little bit, and that's, like, that's all we are. But that's, like, that's okay, if you ask me. Um, we're not gonna, like, shield tank. Like, our shields are okay, but we're, we're not gonna, like, lean into it that much, I think. Heavy armor, because we're really armored. Um, these, because we, we ha again, for armor, and these are on hard points, so I'm not as worried about these needing their, um, what am I trying to say? Needing the, uh, the, the speed, the turn speed. ITU for sure. And we have 15 points left here. We could harden shields and make them, like, better. I don't know. Could go like this and then a, a nine as well. Mm -hmm. Those Mjolnirs, they are. They are. They are indeed. I wouldn't mind this, honestly. I'm not trying to be a shield tank, but that, it, you know, you shield tank a little regardless of what you're trying to do, so. This is okay. Auto fit over here. It's called a rockets. It's like rocket focused. I would disagree. It's like Mjolnir focused, if you ask me, but whatever. Uh, so this, this should work and again with five of them like they'll start they'll start pumping out some serious dps we should be able to sit them together in a group like send them all in and just let them sit there and they'll point defense really well they'll, they'll the missiles and again the salamanders aren't that good but they do some stuff you know they do a little bit of emp damage to put the shields out or the, the engines out um and they were cheap they're cheap that's a big deal and then these will there's only so many of these before they run out but they'll help the shields a lot and this is good stuff these are for missiles, hammerheads. Yeah, two hammerheads and then one salamander, or excuse me, one sabo. Nope, these are not hammerheads. I'm a liar. Two salamanders and then one uh, sabo here. Um, and hammerheads would be a fine choice, but I was trying to be as cheap as possible. I don't want them to, to run out. I want the efficacy to stay there for the whole fight. Um, so I think these are cool. I think this is a good loadout. Um, these I need to auto fit. Oh, this one's already auto fit right here. And we don't have anything to escort right now, but I'm just going to auto-fit them as escorts. These are already made, right? Yeah, yeah. These are my psycho ships. And these, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, this is good. Hammerheads run out. I don't remember. I believe so, yes. I believe hammerheads run out pretty quick. This is a jackhammer, which is kind of a hammerhead, but... Is hammerhead only smalls, or do I just not have any? Yeah, or wait... Hammer head. These are just hammers. I don't know what a hammer head is, then, actually. I, I, I only know of hammers. What is a hammer head? Is that is that from a mod? I, I would imagine I would have it here. I don't know. I'm unsure. Um, let me let me put the captains in here. Again, I'm not worried about where, who's going where for now. When we want to get the, the officers, or excuse me, the capitals back, we'll sort it out then. For now, I just want to make sure my, um, my dominators have captains. And then whatever else has a captain. That's fine. I, mean, I guess the eagle should get one too. Okay, that's fine. Hammers, yeah, it might be ones in. Yeah, they run out. Yeah, they run out like pretty quickly even. The hammers be running out pretty quick. But I think this loadout's good. I haven't tested it. We'll have to see. But 20, 20, or 2,050 armor is really good. 0.68 on shield is pretty solid. Because a lot of these guys have the shield tank ability. So honestly, really good shield tanking abilities. Um, 10k flux is not a lot. And we're burning a lot of flux for our weapons. So, um, you know, there's that. But... It's got good armor. It's got good shields. Um, it should sit there and, like, death ball in the middle of the fight. That's the goal with these hammerheads. Or, ah, the dominator's here, so. Uh, repair. 
relationship with the church? Why? Oh, cause because they we went to war with them. Fair enough. So let's try to find um yeah, yeah let's yeah, perfect. This fleet right here, yeah, yeah. I can fight them. And that'll just make the uh the colony crisis not not so close to exploding. And it's actually really, really close, so fighting these guys is, is awesome. And yeah, the station's fine. We have we have allies. The allies could probably fend them off, but you don't get bonus points unless you go in and help, so. Um, what can we send in? Me, a dominator, and a hammerhead? Yeah, whatever. So we don't get to see them in their in their full glory, but that's fine. Hammerhead's in your head now. Yes, it, it took over. The phrase hammerhead took me over. It took over. Oh, and hammerhead's a ship, dude. That's the name of the destroyer. They're hammer missiles, hammerhead ship. I th I, th I couldn't remember that, though we've used them this like whole playthrough. We've had them. Um, I knew hammerhead was something. I was like, that's, that's in the game. I was like, where is it? But it's a ship. Um, but yeah, we won't quite be able to see how the dominators function. Um, like like right now, like we'll be able to see the one, but I won't be able to see them as a group because um, we're, we're spending all our resources here. But that's okay. I'll be able to see how my my ship works because it, again, it, it's not exactly as it was before. It's been changed uh, more than a little bit. It's been changed like a fair bit. Seems good, and we are turning off all the systems here. You know, this this eagle is getting like completely like you know destroyed in terms of its system capabilities. I don't really want to fight it. If I could, if I could just get this executor, I would be great. yeah. Because if I could turn off its its like systems, that's like way off. Turning off its weapons is a huge deal. And we'll kill it. I think our DPS is a little lower. I mean, it, it certainly is a little lower um, now that we have less like lances going on, but it's still fine. And our our we can our flux is like perfect. We can sit here forever with the flux. So. This is good. Ship's good. Dominators will dominate the fight. That's my goal, honestly. That's actually what, they're, what, the, what the plan is. Why would I run run the, the executor out like that? Why would I just save it? I, that's so dumb of me. I 100% just saved the executor. I was like, I'll run into it and that'll kill it. I don't know what the plan was. No, it won't. I'll run into it and it'll do nothing. Okay. And this eagle will die soon. And maybe the executor is not running? It's still on the field. If I could go kill it, that would be fog. It's not running. Let's go. Oh, yeah, it is. Never mind. I want to kill it, though. Every ship you kill, you get more hostile activity dropped. Uh, so, if I can, I'll try to kill it. I can't, I can't like, take it, you know, take it on, like, on face value here, but I can turn around quicker than I can turn. There we go. The, 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 the plasma jets help so much with that. They give you a lot of maneuverability. Speed and maneuverability to turn wherever you need to. Okay, so this should hopefully keep us from losing the uh, like from the the colony attack from happening um, until we get our, our full fleet made. That should be like another fifteen, yeah, negative twelve. Okay, it's something. It gave us like another month. We'll take it. And uh, okay, they died. I was gonna pop back in and fight them again, but they died. They died without me. All right. Um, so I will I will try to find other other Sindrian fleets. Any any other Sindrian fleets around here? Seems like no. There aren't that many of them, so makes sense. We could go and try to fight some remnants over in the other system with just this. I don't want to do that though. I would much prefer to have the the full the full system, but you know it is what it is. Or the full the full fleet. If we don't have it, and you know the the remnants are about to attack, there's not much I can do. So I might have to attack them. I might have to go in with my partial fleet. Yeah, there's not any more Sendrians here, so. I'm, I'm quite unsure of how to progress, like how to keep the colony from dying, unless we just go there. So how, how long do we have? Let me, let me just like double check here. Let me look at it. Colony threats. 57, two months. We have, we have like two months. How long till I make all my stuff? More than two months. Okay. Um, we're just missing the capitals, which is like, it's, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot to say just missing. You know, that doesn't quite add up. But it is just the capitals that we're missing. It's not it's not the rest of the fleet. What else what else do we have here in storage? Probably just some strikes and stuff. That's like what I was planning on bringing. I mean, there's a bunch in storage, but um so let's let's go to Thule and let's just buy a a Pegasus and then kit that out and then let's go fight with that. We won't have the Odyssey, but that's okay. And I'll actually stop making this so that we can make No, no, no. Stop making this so we can make the Odyssey soon. No, no, no. Stop making that. Confirm. 
Um, I can make another one soon. Oh, and this isn't how I get there. Get back in. I can make another Pegasus soon, just so we have one in backup. But I, I want the Odyssey to be popped out first, because we can just go buy a Pegasus. And again, we're paying way more when we buy it, but I'm not worried about the cost. I'm worried about the, the amount of time before it, before it's here. You know, I need I need it here before we lose the, the colony. And the Star Fortress is probably being made at Surreal. Yeah, but it's, yeah, 150 days away. Nowhere near done. So we'll, we'll go here, and then we will uh, we'll go to Thule, I mean. We'll buy a Pegasus, and then we have to travel back home for the sake of kidding the Pegasus out, and then we'll go straight to the, uh, the, the remnants just to fight a few of them. We don't need to kill, like, a lot of them, but one fight will, will give us, you know, enough reputation drop. And I will try to bring just one remnant over instead of two because that previous fight, we could have won for sure. There was just one remnant there instead of two. The, the issue definitely lied in that there was two remnants or two remnant ordos. So we'll take this. And again, that's way more money than it needs to be. Repair, trade goods. Do you have any like Merv launchers? Because I think I'm running low on those. Buy those just in case. I might I might use them. Probably not, but maybe. Because um, again, I don't think we have enough Merv launchers to fit in. So we'll have to put something else, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Wait, lose the colony. Who's invading? Uh, it's it's the remnants that are invading. They're, I think they're going to attack the Sarissa up here. I don't think we'll actually lose the colony. It'll just be destroyed for like a long time, you know? It'll be like turned off for like a year. Um, so I don't want that to happen. Oh, and you're good. The co the caps were, were fine. I thought you were just very worried about the colonies. War with Tritech? Yeah, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so so we will we will go try to fend off some of the remnants. And again, we, we have plenty of time still. Yeah, 465. So we, we have time to get there at least. Wait, 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 wait. Sindrian Dick that. Okay, they're not they're they're not the, the, the people that kill me. They this is a Sindri and Dictat fleet, but they're not the, the murder fleets. So if I attack them, it'll be like war. Um which makes no sense whatsoever, but here we are. They they send fleets to murder me constantly, and then they send a trade fleet. I'm supposed to just ignore it. So to like let it be. I guess that's what we'll do. It doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Cap out on fuel. No. Mm. We'll take some. I don't need to cap out right now though. Take a little bit more supplies, just so we don't run out. Like, we can repair the ships without running out. And then go in here, drag the, uh, whatever this is called, um, the Pegasus up. And then the captain on the Pegasus is the missile person. There we go. You. Where were you assigned initially? Maybe here. I don't know. Also, wasn't there, like, yeah, we have, like, two unassigned captains? Yeah, yeah, Get assigned. And I guess get assigned to here. Okay, so Pegasus. Yeah, you're a Pegasus. Auto fit. Do I have Merv launchers? Nah. So I don't I don't think I had this as the auto fit. We're just out of Merv launchers. Hydra DEMs are not bad at all though. Hey, money is money, let the combat ships combat and the merchant ships merchant. Yes, yeah, that is true. Money is money. I, I kinda don't care where it comes from at this point. Um so. Did we have anything like built in on this bad boy? Probably like I, I, I yeah, we had we had heavy armor built in for sure. I don't know what else but I know we had heavy armor built in Because um, that's why I had this here Hmm, I won't build in I won't build in um, But instead I will just crank this down Crank this down a little bit too. We can just put heavy armor and then go the rest. So this is fine Interesting for hardened shields and heavy armor on the dominator I, I, uh, I like, I like the, uh, I had 15 extra points, and the captains mostly have the, the shield tank thing, so I figured it would be good enough. But the heavy armor, I think, is a, no a pretty normal call. The, the hardened shields is, I think, a bit of a weird one. I'm gonna forget, it doesn't mean he's embraced it. Yeah, I've built, I've built a lot of them. Um, oh, and I'm sorry, I missed, I missed your, your message earlier. Wait, what's that in your fleet? I see you've embraced the best tech. Yeah, we were going low tech a little bit. We've, we've lowified the tech uh, some. Um them big boys you were right there you were there's you were not wrong i do i like big thick ships and i cannot lie um so let's go we, we got the, the the ship is built um it's not perfect again i want i want quadra mervs but whatever are they are they separate no they're not separate so they need to be separate go here uh and these can be linked and then then uh yeah it doesn't need to auto fire okay confirm um because if these are linked then it would be all weird all right. Heavy armor is good on the Dominator. Hardened Shields is a bit odd, but it can potentially work. Yeah, my, my goal with them is to be, like, a, a stable, like, 
like anchor because we don't have an anchor like i don't have an onslaught or anything so i wasn't gonna put the hardened shields but we had 15 points left over and i was like you know what sure if we have exactly enough to harden those shields why not you know so i went with it okay so let's try to drag like one remnant fleet over not all of them but just like one of them just a singular fleet yeah this is this is built it's not dying right now Sure, hardened shields work if you're running the only since they choose it. Yeah, that was that was my like my worry. Okay, they they're just coming over to slaughter me immediately. Like how? Oh, engaging serial station. Oh, they're attacking the station, so they don't even care that I'm here. They're they're directly attacking the station, so it's a lot of enemies once more. I think we got it. I think we got it. We've been we've been here before, but I think we got it. The station is much better this time. We have allies. Um, we'll do our best. We'll do our best. I can't deploy anything because my allies are eating up everything. That's that's toxic. Um, we'll send in, I guess, just this. When the allies die, we'll send in more stuff. But I really wish we had more stuff to send in. Like, I'm shocked this is all we get. And why are they already here, man? They're already going to, like, they're going to kill the station before I get there. Let me get a paragon. Yeah, paragon is paragon. I was just consuming the vast bulk of your battle size. Yeah, it's eating, like, quite a lot of it. Uh, but normally you can send in, like, a few ships. The allies are, are getting in my way for sure. They're doing their best, but... Come on, guys. I, I need to send in a Pegasus here. Yo, the Nova died already? Let's go. That's Pog. That is very Pog. Okay, so let me let me fly on up and start, start trying to pull the attention off this thing. Just some... Just some of the attention. So I don't want to lose the whole fleet again. We just did this, but it seems this is the only... The fights are always going to be like double remnants here, so... Kind of just is what it is. I want to, I want to kill this ship. You know, we're focused on it. I want to finish it off. Cannot have a brilliant look at me, but it, it, distracting a brilliant helps a lot. But I can't afford to like sit. In front of a distracting a brilliant is great. Sitting in front of a brilliant is not so great. That's, that's too spooky for me, man. Okay, we're doing better this time than we were last time for sure. The station is lasting like much longer. Shields. That's how I bend. Yeah, I do need to get in here and, and draw the pressure off this thing. I can't just let it take damage. The, the, the fact that they have double brilliant is very spooky. It's like really tough to handle. Shout out to Nightbot. You said you take your raids on the Dominator. You've done some some work, some holy work with that ship. I honestly haven't. I could see it being good. Um, I don't think I want to do it for how for like this fleet, um, just because again they're meant to be like just just like I, I don't care if they're slow. They're meant to just sit there and like tank. But I could see it being very useful for sure. But I had never really considered it. 100% have not considered. Oh, I need to get back. I need to get back. Two 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 brilliants are staring at me. That is that is about too too many. But the, the station's still going, you know? The station's still alive. We're, we're coming in with reinforcements and stuff here, so... It's, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. You know, this brilliant's actually suffering, dude. That's amazing. I would love to continue putting the pressure on, but this one's scaring me away. I'm gonna try to dive back on that brilliant. I don't wanna let it, like, flux out. Dang it, man. This brilliant's being toxic. It's just not letting me attack the other one. I'm like, it's a good play for the enemy, but I'm like, it's annoying for me. Stop doing it. And our station's, like, struggling. It is definitely struggling. It, it helped a lot. We're getting there. I think I think we'll make it. I don't know, but I think we will. Maybe that's, like, pure code. I think we got it. One 
more side of the station went down, that really sucks. That is no good. When the station does die, we can, we can, you know, uh, we can send in, like, all of our ships. So there's that. Okay, we got some kills there. The, the chain, chain reaction explosion was pretty good. Got, like, two kills. Again, I'm just trying to pull some aggro off of the, uh, Some aggro, maybe. Can I move it away so that I can't, like, yeah, I can't hit it with the plasma cannons. There's that. Why are my ships, like, back here? I guess they're fighting that, that one brilliant. That's, like, all they can manage. Fair enough. I just don't, I don't want to be staring down the front of the room. I need to get around to the side of it or something. EMPing, it's useful. It didn't have its shields up, so I emp through some of it, but it can just, it, the Brilliant can turn too fast, man. I can't find it. I have to run away. My station just went down. Okay, how are we looking on the fight? I think I'm, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I almost said I think I'm gonna cry. It's not what I meant. I think I'm gonna try to continue fighting. I think we can finish the fight out. I might be wrong about that, but I think we can. I will, I will function similar to how I was on the Odyssey in that previous fight, where I'm just going to try to distract as much of the enemy fleet as I can, pretty much. And if I can just pull them, you know, like, pull one, like, Brilliant and all these ships with me, then that'll, that'll, that'll be good enough to keep the fleet going. Then bottom left the map for fast reinforcements, two defense points. That's true. That is true. I could, I could keep us down here. And then, and then when the reinforcements come in, they'll, they'll get down there quickly. I can't, I can't take out too many ships while we're running here, but these tiny ones, like, I have a chance. And am I... No, I'm not distracting that Brilliant right now. I, I need to be. I need to go get the, uh, the the second Brilliant on my tail. I need to be the one that it's fighting. Dash away. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not pulling enough of the enemy fleet right now. I think we need to, to get more going. Dominator went down. That's fine. Another one's going in, then that's fine. What did I just do? Make this the pinpoint? I don't know what happened there. Is my Pegasus alive? It is. It's so far back at the point. I'm worried that the Pegasus is like, like these guys aren't going to help. Like, the Pegasus won't help my Dominators because it's, it's trying to defend the point. And these guys are like engaged in battle, so they won't pull back. Leave my Dominator alone. I can't fight that thing, but I needed the Dominator to get a little bit of breathing in there, so. I think we did about about all we could for it. Let's try to go over here to this one. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. We're actually doing all right here. Yeah, look, look at this thing. It's suffering, man. It's actually suffering. The Pegasus is doing, like, a lot of work with all its missiles. Good. Okay, that Dominator's about to die. But I really want to focus on this, this, uh, this Brilliant. We can take out this one Brilliant and help us a lot. We don't want to let it make the covers. Dang it, dude. The other Brilliant started looking at me, man. I have to drop shields, which is no good. Having to drop shields is like the beginning of the end. My, my engine's turned off? Okay, this is really bad. Yeah. Okay, that sucks. I'm gonna send in all, all of the rest of the ships there. There's not that many ships here. I don't know how much they have in reinforcement, though. But we, we could definitely do this, I think. And if, if we lose the fleet, then we lose the fleet. But I, I, I don't want to. I, I think it's possible, so... I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with it. All of these little shrikes and stuff popping in, they, they all popped in at once. That, sh that should be enough to really start, you know, swaying things on our side. 
The Radiants are so mobile. Yeah, Radiants are really, really strong. They're very tough. But if we lose all the Dominators, we don't have enough Mjolnirs to make them again, so... I don't want to lose all my Dominators. I would like to recover them. And I don't know. They're, they're bringing in some ships over there, but I don't know if that's, like, it. Like, I don't know if that's, like, the final, like, ship there. Like, if, if we're done. I mean, I'm just going to give up these points because there's nothing left to, to bring in for, for reinforcements. So, yeah. The, what we have on the field is all we got left. I would love if this doesn't die, but the, 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 the double brilliance staring down it, you know, kind of leads me to believe that it's going to die. Can I defend this? Can I put a defend order on it? Yeah, we're not going to win. I don't think we're going to win. We lost too many of our ships. This is so tough, man. Like, like the, the remnant ordos are really, really tough. Yeah, they, 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 I, I think I call this a dominator. Sorry. Uh, but the Pegasus is going down. Yeah, that thing's gone. Um, we can't win with this, I don't think. Like, we, I don't think we win this battle. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm going to let him try. Because these are so, so close to dead. If we could kill these, it would help a lot. Mm, I don't know, man. I might just do a, re or a retreat order. I don't care about these ships, though. It would just take like a month to make these. I'm gonna have a fight. I'm gonna have a fight. About it. Maybe, maybe just the, the sheer numbers can do it. HVDs are remnants, Bane. We have a fair few HVDs. Uh, at least we did. Most of the HVD wielding ships are dead now, but we've had a fair few of them. Okay, yeah, we can't win. I'm gonna try to do an execute order. See if see if that can get us through this. That's my only hope. Here. And actually, execute this one. Cancel this order. Execute this one. Yeah, they're, they're going after it. It's it's the one that's closer to dead. Nah, there's no way. There's no way. They're, they're swarming us. Okay. I'll do a full retreat. It doesn't matter, but I, I guess keeping some of these ships is better than not keeping them. Um, I have no idea how you could ever win this fight. Um, like, I don't know how I can, like, win versus two, two Ordos. It's, like, impossible. The fleet wasn't fully made, but, like... We had so many ships, you know? So we ripped to the story points I spent on my uh, Aurora. Um, that's why I didn't spend them on the Pegasus. I was like, ah, we should, we should test first. So, mm, I don't know. I don't know. It's tough for me to, to know what we did good or wrong with the fleet there. Just because it, it, the remnants are so tough, and there's so many of them. But yeah, we didn't kill a single one of their, their, uh, their Radiants. We killed, like, a fair few ships, though, but... Not, not not worth it compared to what we lost so when we get this up to a star fortress that will help the star fortress is much better but i'm like what are you supposed to do until then i guess just nothing the answer is nothing apparently i missed some stuff here why remnant attacking your colony um i colonized a remnant location uh there's a remnant nexus somewhere in here so that's why uh, so i the when the colony threat thing happens i think they're just going to attack the this one system not not the other one but yeah, it's just it's just because I colonized in a remnant nexus area. Um, so we have to go back and, and get the fleet going again, again. Um, so custom production, capitals. We need a Pegasus. We made the Odyssey just now. Um, cruisers, five Dominators. It's a million bucks there. It's gonna take a while to get this going. Destroyers. I don't know if we need any of these right now, like strikes and stuff. I'll just leave it at here. We'll leave it at this for now. Um, and the exec, the, not the executor, excuse me, the, uh, the Odyssey's at home, so. We at least have a, a capital ship, and we did keep some of our, our destroyers and stuff, so we have something. We have some stuff. I'm gonna onslaught our paragon and help with that fight, I think. I 100% agree. Did you try control Z? Just a quick little undo on that one. Um, but yeah, so, I don't know. 100% agree that a paragon would help. I think the, the, the real answer is the Star Fortress would also help a lot. It makes a huge difference, so. Um, I probably won't go back there until we get a Star Fortress, which means that the, the remnants are gonna attack and then mess the station up, but that just is what it is, I think. I'm just gonna let that be. I'm gonna have to live with it, so. Yeah, we have this here. And then do we have like anything else? Nah, just these, so. We'll take this out, we'll build it up, we'll get it going. Um, I don't know how we're gonna build it. Probably just how I built the, um, the other one. I'm assuming I, I auto-fitted it. 
That's again assuming, but I'm assuming I auto fit it so I can make it again in the future. No, I didn't. Whatever. No, no, not this. I know how I had it built like pretty well. Strip um, here, pylums. Strip pylums here. And I could put this thing on it, but I don't want it to lose. I don't want to lose it, so we'll just stick with pylums for now. All right, we'll just stick with the pylums. And then we had some point defense back here. as well do the bursts back there one up there tack lasers on these bad boys in here we had uh cerises i believe just to help like defend we don't have any more cerises right now we only have one zyphos i need more of these i would i would like to put a zyphos on here um until we get those going i can just do something like the uh where is it the wasps they're just interceptors while drones typically outnumber and easily swarm enemy fighter formations, while stinger mines prevent stragglers from getting through. Faced with point defense weaponry, their frailty begins to tell. With like a pile on board. That's true, true. Cheap, manageable. Not that good, but we'll just live with it for now. And then here, I was thinking about these, but honestly, the auto pulse lasers were, were kind of slapping. Um, and I think I left like all of these open. Yeah, I think the rest of these stay open. So, um, weapon groups. All of these together linked. And then these on one, from uncontrolled, those auto fire. Okay, that's set up correctly. And then we had like a lot of stuff in here. I don't remember exactly what, but a lot of stuff. ITU, shield conversion front, stabilized shields, um, hardened shields. This was raised up a bunch as well. Um, Might have had this, I don't know. Only starship captain this size of the Persian that can't lose them. Yes, that's, that's, the, 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 the. The, the, the title of today's show was referring to me. And it's been very accurate. I've lost hella ships all day. I have I have not I have not made the title into a lie. Do we have this? What did we have on here last time, man? Cause I swear we didn't have like so many points for this, but Oh, it's cause these were more we more more. We had like seventeen or fourteen points here. So that was part of it. Um wouldn't mind this letting it turn really fast because we, we were pretty good plenty good on dissipation and i suppose we should be, just be even better on dissipation just to be sure you know just to help um and until we get our, our ships going again oh am i making an aurora i don't have an aurora i need to make that both because i was paid to but also because it's amazing um also because i love using it um it, it was really good fun so until we get the aurora i'll captain this um and i think this is really well made I think this is gonna be a very good tank ship. And I'll story mod or story point it eventually. I just wanna wait until we get the whole fleet. I'll story point all of them and we won't die. If you have lost that many Dorito weapons, I've reloaded a save. Kudos for sticking with it. I I will never save, um, like ever. Also, I hope you're doing well, Nightcom. I hope you're doing well, I didn't greet you. And I said save, I meant reload. I will like never save scum. I just, I, like if you can if you can get around losing them, then they're not rare anymore. Um, I think I think it makes them more fun to have if when they're gone they're gone I think it adds a lot to it so I will s mod this later for now we'll leave it like that and this is a not a good fleet but it's it's something you know we won't get attacked by by smugglers and stuff at least and we'll we'll get the rest of the fleet going with time in the meanwhile I suppose we can um trade we've been doing like more trading on this playthrough than I'd love to but we can do some trading and stuff in the meanwhile but I don't know we will figure out what we're gonna do tomorrow we're done here folks Thank you so much for being here all day, everybody. If you were here for a moment, if you were here for an hour, or if you were here for the whole stream, thank you, it means so much. It really means a lot to me. Thank you, everyone. I really, really appreciate having you all here. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, everybody. Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.